What is going on everyone? It has almost been a year since the first Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom merchandise has came out by Mattel and it has been an absolutely amazing year for the Jurassic World fans with what Mattel has gave us and the, the line is definitely in the right hands. I mean we had had so many different things from the attack packs, the dual attacks, we had the vehicle packs right there. Now we're moving on to the Dino Rivals for 2019 and it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger guys so I wanted to, to do this video for as you the title already says the top 10 for this year that we have had so far and it's uh, I've thought about it a few days put my top 10 together and I will also do my least favorite one from the line so, like I said, it has been an awesome year. I have made so many great contacts. I have talked to so many different fans and got stuff in the mail from fans that love my, watching my videos. So, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. It has been absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to do more of these Jurassic World videos. Uh, when all this new merchandise releases later this year around summer so yeah uh, definitely thank you guys so much it has been an awesome ride and I am not going to stop it is going to keep on going and I hope to talk to more fans uh, yeah anything Jurassic World guys Jurassic Park Comment on any of my videos. We'll have a conversation about them. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this video started. Alright, so before we head on over to the top 10, we will start this off with my least favorite from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line by Mattel. And that is going to be the Triceratops. Now, when I first got this, I absolutely loved it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but with all the products that we have got, it's, it is probably my least favorite. I mean, the sculpt is nice, the detail is nice, we even got the detailed cracks in the horns. Really nice painted apps, but my main problem with this, I it just feels like it's too small. Because they said that all the dinosaurs were going to scale up pretty nicely. I just feel that the Triceratops is small. I mean, yes, it could pass as a juvenile, but I would really love to see Mattel uh, do a lot bigger Triceratops. I mean, we had the Triceratops that Kenner did, and I like the Kenner one a lot better than this one. And I'm not doing that for... Because Kenner's amazing. No, uh, if you'd known me, i pick Mattel over Kenner. That's just me. But yeah, uh, I just feel like they could revisit the Triceratops and do a lot better job. Again, I don't hate it. I like it. It's just my least favorite. Alright, so moving on to my top 10. So I am going to be starting with number 10 on my list. Which is, of course, uh, Wave 1. So I picked this up a few days before April 16th at Target. So if you were at... So if you were watching my videos back in April, you would have seen me pick this up at Target. And it is... I think it's the first War of War I bought. And that is... The Allosaurus. Now, the reason why it's number 10 on my list, well, they've done a lot of dinosaurs, so one of them's got to make number 10. But yeah, this is number 10 on my list, the Allosaurus. Really good sculpt. I really do like the paint. Detail is very nice. And we got painted uh, claws right there, but non-painted. And then they pan it all the way down the tail, which if you've watched many of my videos, 
that was my biggest gripe. But I'm I, I really love this Allosaurus. That's why I put it in my top ten. But yeah, uh, I like the gray color articulation. We got that nice uh, wide movement like we have had for the Mattel line. The sounds are really nice. I love it. The green markings is a nice touch. I even seen some that the eyes were not painted right there. We got a nice bluish green tongue and then that solid gray color in the mouth. Teeth painted a little yellowish. But yeah, this is my uh, top 10. So let's go ahead and move on to number 9 on my list. Which is a Target item from the Legacy Collection. And it is the Worker Jeep number 18. Now we have had so many different kind of Jurassic Park Jeeps over the years. From the Tracker Jeep that we had in the Kenner days. Which, hey, it was alright. But it, was it 100% movie accurate? No, it was not. Then we got the uh, Jada toy Jeeps that we had for the first Jurassic World release movie. And they did pretty good. I mean, I loved it. I bought a few of those Jeeps. But the one thing people wanted was the Jungle Explorer, which is the tour vehicle. So I picked up a few of these. I loved how we finally had a movie accurate Jeep. Of course, it's not all the way movie accurate because we are missing the mirrors and then the spare tire in the back, which, as you can tell, it is really dirty right there on the back because I, I bought an extra Jeep and I super glued a tire on there and it managed to fall off. But no biggie. But these, uh, this Jeep scales in pretty well with the three and three quarter inch figures for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and the Legacy Collection line. But yeah, it rolls really nice. We have the pull system right there. You hook it on something and roll it. The inside. I mean, pretty standard. And then everything that I'm going to be reviewing on here, well, showing for my top 10, check out my review. I have most likely did a review on all the things that I'm going to be covering here. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to number 8. And that is... A recently released item, I think it was the beginning of this year or late last year I picked this up. I cannot remember exactly. But I went to Walmart after work one night and there it was sitting on the shelf. Quickly grabbed it and it is the Walmart exclusive Battle Damage Alberta Source. Now if you remember from my review, I absolutely love this dinosaur right here. Mattel did an outstanding job. We got the green color. We have the nice uh, red markings on the head. But my gripe, I believe, was the red just stopped right here and did not continue all the way down. We have a really nice sculpted and painted battle damage right there on the leg. And then we have... This nice little touch for the battle damage. Which I hope Mattel continues to do the this style right here. So we got the nice articulation in the head. It seems to be on a ball joint. A little articulation in the arms. And then the standard articulation in the legs. With a pivot with the ankle is a little stiff but hey it's an awesome dinosaur the sculpt is super nice and then 
the jaw is stiff, but hey, better than being loose and keep on falling down. But yeah, this is going to be number nine for my list, so let's go ahead and move on to number seven. Alright, so here it is number seven, and it is the real feel, really big Mosasaurus. I was super ecstatic when I found this at Walmart. It was on the very top shelf, I believe, and Skygal found it for me. I mean, we have that real, real feel skin on here on the body, and then on the tail, the fins are a hard plastic. And then the lower jaw is a plastic material too. We do have some nice blue markings going down the body. Overall, I mean, the price point for this was phenomenal. $29.99. And, man, I think the only place you could find this is at a Target still. At least the targets around me, they still have maybe five, five or six of them, maybe. But there are two versions of this right here. We got the this one, and then the one that came with the Walmart pack for the quest for the Indominus. Which, it was a slightly different paint apps, maybe a little darker, a little lighter in some spots. But, number six. So number six on my list is a legacy item. This is probably my uh, one of my top finds that I wanted to get at Target. No, it is not the Spinosaurus. This has to be the legacy Gallimimus. Now I was always a fan of Gallimimus, the Gallimimus seen Jurassic Park. I did not like the Kenner Gallimimus, so I never owned that. I was really close to buying the Gallimimus at a convention, but I didn't want to fork over $30. So when I seen Mattel's uh, products for the Gallimimus, I was blown away because I could finally have a herd of these, which I do have a herd. I probably got maybe six, uh, six of these right here from Target. I have a few of the attack packs and the exclusives from Target with the attack packs. I don't have the Coles ones. And I have uh, maybe five or six of the Walmart Battle Damage Gallimimuses. But I mean, the gimmick, I could have done without. I mean, it's a weird gimmick. But at the same time, it does make sense. And I, I, I want to say that the Target one right here, it does have the best paint apps I believe they do share the same sculpt to a point but this one is definitely my favorite out of all the Gallimimuses I mean we got nice head movement to go down to go up the arms rotating them all over the place and sadly, the target articulation in the legs is just that. But yeah, I love this Gallimimus. Mattel had out really outdid themselves with this figure. I know a lot of people probably won't like it as much as I do, but hey, that's fine. Everyone has their own different opinion. My opinion is Mattel Rods. Okay. Alright, so number five on my list is something massive. It is the first item that I found at Walmart on April 2nd, I believe. And it is the Super Colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this thing is just massive. It was freaking hard to do this review for how big it was. And of course, this is not the Walmart version. Uh, the Walmart vor version is my favorite one because it has the roar. But it is uh, sort of buried in my display and I can't get it out. This one I had offhand for this video 
and it is just massive. I mean, just looking at that sculpt, it screams Rexy from Jurassic Park. It is, looks, the sculpt looks identical to her sculpt. I just absolutely admit, love that. I mean, I think this was, what, $49.99? And I quickly grabbed that. And that's, that's the night where everything changed on this uh, YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and move her and bring in number four. And number four is the most anticipated item for 2018. It is also the hardest to come by. And that is, of course, Mattel Spinosaurus. Now, this thing was a pain to get at first. I missed out on it the first few rounds because it went live, I want to say, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. And I normally go to bed around 3 or 4. So, yeah, I, miss, I was uh, about two months late getting this I had to go to eBay to buy it the sculpt is really good a lot of people complained about the legs balancing issues and all that but I have had no problem getting this thing to stand like I've, I've done many videos live videos showing it and I've never had issues that people are having I believe them but this one has not been a problem and uh I have had six Spinos in my hands since they released from Target. I have done trades, buying from overseas, and uh, yeah. So really, if you try, they're not hard to come by. Like if you're in the Jurassic Park community, make friends, guys. Do trades. They really do help. And what I mean, the Jurassic Park community... There's a lot of Facebook groups, uh, groups on here on uh, YouTube, Instagram. Be a part of those groups. Treat people right. You will make a lot of friends. Like Paddock 9 has been an absolute blast being a part of. And it is just getting better and better every day. We're trying to get active on our Instagram page. So that is your number one tool guy, guys get in those com toy communities you will be lucky to get a well, you won't be lucky I mean it will be easier to come by for the Spinosaurus alright so number three on the list is an item that I bought on eBay I paid about $20 20, 20 or $30 over retail price just to get it early because, dang, I had it probably two months before it. people started finding it in stores. And I just wanted to get the review up for you guys. And that is the Biden fight, Trinosaurus Rex. And this is uh, the first item that I bought for the Dino Rivals line. I just absolutely love the color scheme. Because we have that dark brown and tannish color. Right there in the eyes, well, in the head, and then you got the yellow eyes right there that make it pop. We got the scars right there. But yeah, it's a really awesome figure. I know a lot of people do not like the gimmick. It's an odd gimmick. And then you got the tail that goes... But I know a lot of people hate the gimmick. I've even seen people uh, say that the gimmick stopped working. But, I mean, it has not stopped on me yet. But yeah, it's like it... I'm trying to think of how to word it. 
it's one of the most paint accurate Rexies that we have had just because it is that dark color and of course I even stated on my review that the markings right here on the camera they do look green have that greenish tint but it does not have it let's turn this around alright yeah someone mentioned this in our channel in paddock 9 Dylan this is the first time I noticed this right here the two little marks that all the Biden fights have those two little dots I'm I'm thinking that it is an injection mark from the mold for the gate but yeah that is my number three pick so let's go ahead and move to number two and I can't find it uh oh alright so number two on my list is a Walmart exclusive which is a battle damage and that is of, of Lost Raptor Blue I think that this is one of the best sculpts the best Lost Raptor figure that we have ever had for Jurassic Park I mean, we have that nice range of motion in the head. You could turn all the way around. We got nice ranges of motion in the arms. And then, of course, got the standard Mattel outward motion. And then, of course, the battle damage. I just think the paint apps, the sculpt. It just really sells this figure. And they even did some repaints of this that has been hard finding, but people have been finding a lot lately. But yes, definitely number two on my list. So, number one. It is... Somewhere in here. Alright, this is... I picked this up at Target. And yes, it is a Legacy Collection figure. And I found it... Dang. I want to say I found this on Saturday. So it was a few days before they officially released and it was just sitting there in the Marvel section and that is the extreme chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex now like I said this is part of the legacy collection line it ran it, the retail price was $19.99 which I thought was a fabulous price and there's my cat not shutting up Alright, so, like I said, that sculpt, it just looks so much like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. I'm not talking about the color-wise, just the sculpt that they did for this. And a lot of people, I want to say, does not like this figure, but it is my, my favorite item that Mattel has done, and if... I know I talked to a few people on why it is the neck the neck articulation that is what really sold this item to me I mean we got the gimmick right here of Alright, so the gimmick is not going to work because I think I have jammed so much stuff into this to keep the mouth open a few times because I always have it open like this on the shelf. So the gimmick does not work because I think something got jammed up in there. 
but I do a lot of photography and this neck articulation is what really helps. I know it's uh it scales really small to like the humans and other dinosaurs, but I mean it could be a younger version of Rexy that we've seen in Jurassic Park. Anyway, okay, so that that's number one on the list. So I have done my top ten plus my least favorite item that Mattel has done for this year, or I should say last year. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and let me know in the comments below on what your top 10 dinosaurs are that Mattel has done this past year there they have done so many awesome things with this line and I cannot wait to get more into this line that they're going to be doing this year we have the Brachiosaurus coming out we have the Indominus Rex coming out the big colossal blue it is going to be a awesome year and I cannot wait to get those in review on this channel for you guys I already have them ordered at three or two different spots so we will see how that works out and thank you guys so much for watching this always watching my videos hitting the like button it helps out a lot so but if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button